We've only missed one game, but what a game it was. Since we witnessed Dawkins' demise at the feet of Dagenham and Redbridge, a bunch of amateurs went off to film the opening episode of Rains Park Uncovered rather than trek all the way up to Gateshead again. And the Wanderers would have done well to stay south with us, for a demolition the likes of which we have not seen since the early days of filming saw the Heed fire half a dozen goals in without reply, despite Dawking having more possession than any team has managed at the International Stadium all season. The result leaves Mark's side three points above the drop zone going into the game against Boreham Wood, a side that won both fixtures against the Wanderers last season, whose position in the table, adjacent to Dorking, belies the fact that they were mere moments from reaching the playoff final last season, ultimately losing in extra time to eventual winners, Notts County. Perhaps it's a hangover of that disappointment, or maybe they're just not having much luck. Either way, the Wood, if that's what they call themselves and we don't know if they do, are a big, physical, direct side and a tough one to play against, particularly for a Dorking side low on confidence after that Northern mauling a week prior. Like this lot of fucking tough team, a tough team. Like if you don't mentally prepare to play this lot, he said in his interview yesterday that like he's been planning three days to play Dorking Wanderers. But they got in the playoffs last year with something like a 35% possession. If you don't turn up against these as an individual, you'll lose your battle, yeah? If too many of you lose your battle, we'll lose the game. This is a great period. There's three points between 12 teams. You go get three points today, you set yourself up to hit a bit of a run, and you can then establish yourselves where you want to be in the table. But these games are fucking tough. They're hard. So you're gonna to have to be ready for this game, lads, yeah? Yeah, we've got tactical stuff. That's important. Yeah, there's little nedula balls that are important. But above all, if you ain't fucking ready, I guarantee you this mob are. Uh, wing back for wing back. Jimmy, the one your side, yeah? Baz, am I right in saying it's the bloke you said the strongest bloke in the world? Yeah, it's the defender. So if you're having one of your days where you're on fucking some fucking sauna in Hove, right, we're fucked. Right, yeah? Well, I can tell you in advance we are fucked. Yeah, okay, Jimmy? On your day, Jimmy, you <laughs> roast everybody, yeah? But try and get him on the booking, okay? But also, just, he's a defender, so he ain't, he ain't like a fucking gallivanting wingback. Just bear that in mind, Jim. So he, he's happier being there than he is there, right? But that's good, because no one can back foot defend you, which is really good. I'd rather that. Harrison to keep the ball moving quickly. You three, yeah? If you think we've got stuck because they've jumped a the player, yeah? I know I'm saying they can play behind it, but you can, you can just make the extra centre half if they've jumped one, yeah? And then you might see the one behind it. So that makes sense, yeah? Okay? So it's easy money, right? Easy money, okay, yeah? But you'll have to be strong. You'll have to be fucking strong today, okay? All right, boys? We've tried an awful lot of different things, not really got any to any sort of consistency with performance, tried making them feel like they're better than they are, tried making them feel like they're worse than they are, um, tried to build up the opposition, tried to play down the opposition. No, nothing's really worked. <coughs> so today was just a case of, look, just tell them how it is really, they're fucking strong. If you're not strong, they'll beat you. Um, tactically, this is what it looks like. And then now I'll just make sure I'm in serious mode and make sure the coaches are. Um, but that's where we need to be, you know, it's a brilliant league to be in. It's a league where with a run of games you could really kick on. And um, FA Trophy pending. You, know, you, you want to have a really good quarter four, don't you? A really good build up to Christmas. So, yeah, it's when you're being inconsistent, it, it's annoying because you're, um, you can never, you know, count your chickens. So that is quite annoying. <laughs> Disappointing. Um, last two or three seasons we've been up there in the playoffs. Now we're sort of in 17th, 18th, similar to you guys. And yeah, it's been a bit of an eye opener. 
We haven't been up to scratch this season. Usually we're very good at keeping clean sheets. That hasn't happened. And um, we don't tend to score a lot and that hasn't happened either. So we're sort of a bit of a rut at the moment. So, but we've got to find our form today and Dorkin aren't in the best of form. So it's going to turn around today. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's been a bit disappointing if I'm honest. We haven't really hit the heights of last year where we got in the playoff semi-final. Uh, but we are playing better in the last few weeks, so hopefully that can turn into some decent m m results for us. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can sort of rise up the table. But yeah, it's been a bit disappointing so far, if I'm honest. Yeah, I mean, it's not been the best of seasons, obviously. Last season we were about a minute away from Wembley, but um, yeah, I guess we've got now a bit of like a next season hangover sort of thing. But yeah, hopefully if we get a couple of wins in a row, we can be back up there for the playoffs. Doesn't look like we're going to make it past mid-table, but in this league, you never know. So it's, it, that's the beautiful game for you, really. I mean, last season, we obviously were agonising in close to Wembley, 97th minute goal against Notts County. This year has obviously not been anywhere near as good. Down near the bottom of the table this season, it's not been great because we never score many goals, but we normally don't score many, but also don't concede many. And now we're not scoring and also conceding quite a lot, which is obviously not a good recipe to be up the top of the table. So I think for us, and it's going to be a mid-table season this year and then look to go again next season back into the playoffs, hopefully. Staying solid in this league is all about this year and then build from then onwards. It's at this point on a Saturday that Coach Carl will probably be doing his set-piece planning with the team. We don't show it normally because, well, we can't be bothered. We just feel the urge today, apropos of nothing, of course. Just for a start, uh, three zones like we went through, okay? So back, middle and sort of front zone. They're big, but they're not great in the air. They're not. For the size they are, they will switch off, lose runners, especially the markers in the four. They're not great. So good delivery, consistent good delivery, will hurt them, okay? If we're getting no joy out of it, if we're delivering, and you want to mix it up, uh, George and Cal want to do a near post, do the signal, then you'll go to the near post. Does that make sense? But ideally, we're looking for backstick, pin him, and Hayde and JP. You're the target around the back, okay? They're not great. They conceded three goals from um, set plays in their FA Cup game. They do concede. Good movement, good blocking, and you'll be fine. Any questions? Let's go. Yes. Mate, and I then just want to pass some fucking geezer that come out. Fucking oh, hell, mate. Look at the... Like a tank. See where the keeper is. You see the keeper's one furthest back. To his left. He's up there. Oh, yeah, the biggest yeah. Biggest geezer I've ever seen in my life. George, obviously when you're in possession as a winger, for us, you know, you can just put it, you can just roll it around the corner for Alf. Yep. You can fucking switch it. Yep. You can do whatever you fucking want. Or you can bounce it straight back into our overload. Yep. And they'll go out the other side, yeah? Focus, yeah? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Don't, don't, listen, save your energy, because you don't need to fucking, they're not, you know, they're not going to go too far. No, no, no. So just save your fucking yeah, energy. You don't want that to in today at all. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, no, no, there'll be times you need to. There'll be times you need to and should. But I'm just saying, I want, I want you to come alive fucking when the ball's near the box or even, even drop in and get it. Yeah, yeah. Like, if, if we were kicking that way, yeah, we were yeah, dropping yeah. it and turn out and fucking rifle the or yeah, yeah. play for show. Play a natural game, Alfie. Yeah, yeah. Mate, if I was playing against them, I'd just go away. They're not as big. They're not as big as you think, mate. Mate, that that's fucking, that's fucking, well, that's just they're a mile away, mate. It's all the perspective. When they get closer, they're probably looking at Riggle. You're a giant. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. twelve. Yeah. That yeah. fucking twelve just went past me, mate. Yeah. The fucking floor moved. Oh. Yeah, I'm good, mate. Always good. Lovely. Thanks for the kind words on the interviews, mate. I do appreciate it. You're the bollocks, mate. What you're doing is the bollocks. I'll be honest with you. I think you're the bollocks. What have you found this year, mate? I've just fucking, same old excuses, really. Every has been injured from day one. You know, you know what I mean? It's going to be, the rest of the playoffs and the relegation will be going on all season. And we were fucked last year and we ended up 10 points off the playoffs. Right, mate. Love you, mate. See you in a bit. Good luck. Alfie scored today. Ross. Hey, come on, then, eh? You have to win some fucking battles here today, but we've got to be smart as well. Right, you've got to get the fuck it's all about aggression. Yeah, it's not about trying to win a fucking street fight. It's about getting the aggression right in your play. Winning your battles. Winning your duels. 
Right, when there is a set piece, fucking talking, organise it quick, yeah? yeah? Get, wait, get your breather when you get in. Let's Make sure the in. ref protects Harrison. Say to the ref, your job is to protect the fucking keeper. Keep your eyes open. Yeah? Let's get the ball down. Remember, last third in particular, encourage your teammates to get at players, to run at them. Be dynamic in the last third, okay? Shots off in the last third. That's what you want to do. Oh, yeah. Oi, get a fucking win today, boys. We'll go flying up that fucking table today. Fucking today, let alone next week. We'll go flying up it today. Fucking get a win. 90 minutes is a long time down here. I always say it. Just be compact. Just be fucking compact and keep the ball. They're not a team to give the ball back to. They'll chuck it back at you. Right? It don't matter how tight it is. Last week, fucking 62% possession against the best fucking possession team in the league. Right? So we are keeping the ball. We're doing things really well. We just be aggressive to turn the ball back over. And we're in the last third, we get way more aggressive. We're getting shots off and making things happen. Okay, boys, nothing more to say. Get yourself sorted. Come on. Head over to the match episode now if you'd like to see how this all pans out. Or you can join us on YouTube memberships. The tier one episode is about 40 odd minutes long. Loads more than you get for free, plus no ads. And it's done interrupt one big episode or go over tier two, in which case you get like over an hour's worth of this stuff.